Hello, welcome to another class again. Before us here, we have a math challenge. The question is 2 to the power of root a plus 1 plus 2 root a equal to 5 to 8. What is the possible value of a that will satisfy this expression or this question here? Okay, so if you knew here, this is all I must TV, as we all know. So if you've not subscribed, do wait to subscribe so that you get our videos whenever they are released. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So first to take solution as usual. Now look at this question here. So the first way to rewrite this first expression here according to the law of indices. So this is same thing as our two to the power of root a times 2 to the power of 1. Because here we are having a multiplication sign here and we are having the basis to be the same. So we can take one and add the exponent. Remember that law? Okay, then we come here and say plus our 2 root 2 equal to 5 to 8. 2 is common here. 2 is common here because 2 to the power of 1 will still give us 2. So we can factor out 2. Okay, so if we factor out 2, we're going to have 2 into 2 to the power of root a, okay, then plus, because 2 dividing this, we are left with this, plus root um, a, sorry, this is a, please, so oh, what is happening? So root a, then close bracket, the equal to 5 to a. We have to eliminate this 2 because 2 can equally divide this. So we divide this by 2, we divide the whole of this by 2, this, this leaves the system. So we're left with your um, uh, 2 to the power of root a, then plus root a equal to 2, here we give us 2, here we have 6, and here we have 4. Okay, now we are having this radical, so we have to make some substitution for this radical. So from here we can all say, let, um, let, let's take p, let p be equal to root a. So we can now rewrite this expression as our 2 to the power of p, the plus p, the equal to 2, 6, 4, okay? Now look at this expression we have here now. Now, the only way we can solve this expression of this kind is to evoke the Lambert W function. So I've solved a similar challenge of this expression already on this channel. Okay, and I made use of the Lambert W function. So you can scroll down and uh, watch the video. Again, um, I will also drop the link to that video in the description below so that you can equally watch that video and see what I did there, okay? So from here, how do we now make use of the Lambert W function here? It is very easy. All we need to do is to send these constants to this side of the board. Okay, so if you send this, then let's continue on this side. All right. So let's move this to this side. So we are left with our uh, 2 uh, to the power of p equal to 2, 6, 5, sorry, 4, please, 4, okay, then minus p. Okay, so what we do next here now? We make the right-hand side, left-hand side rather, to be unity. In other words, let's divide through by 2 to the power of p, divide every tier by 2 to the power of p. So these, these leaves are left with one. So rewriting our expression, we're going to have 2, 6, 4, minus p, all over 2 to the power of p, this is equal to 1. Okay. So from here, what we do, all we just need to do is to rewrite this expression at the bottom. We take it to the top. In other words, we use this to multiply everything here. Because here we are having 1 all over 2 to the power of p. So rewriting it according to the law of indices is going to give us uh, the whole of this times 2 to the power of minus p. So this will now give us 2, 6, 4, minus p into our, uh, or let's say, times 2 to the power of minus p. Okay, the thing is getting interesting. So everything here is equal to our 1. So what we do next here is easy. We now think of multiply both sides of the equation by 2 to the power of 2, 6, 4. Let's do that and see what this gives us. So here we're going to have 2, 6, 4 minus p 
the bracket times 2 to the power of minus p there again we have to multiply this by 2 to the power of 2 6 4 equal to so long we are multiplying this left hand side with this we do the same to this side so this is equals to 2 6 4 this times 1 will still give us this okay now again we look at the law of indices the basis are the same so we can add the exponents right so if we add the exponent we're going to have here two six four minus p close bracket then times our two this is positive so let's start with the positive so we're going to have here two six four yeah we have minus so minus p because ideally this is supposed to give us minus p plus two six four which is where our range will give us two six four minus p everything equal to two to the power of two six four are you seeing something playing out now so you discover what we have here it's what we're having at the exponent here now okay so if this is what we have here now what do we do we can rewrite this expression here because the ideology here is to evoke the Lambert W function. I will state what it says, okay? Now, remember that if we have your um, e to the power of ln of, let's say, a star, because this is ln base e, so this and this will leave, right? So this will equally give us what? A star. Remember? So we think with this we can equally rewrite this expression here so rewriting this expression we're going to have here bracket two six four minus p close bracket the times r e to l l okay the two to the power of two six four okay then minus p everything equal to our 2 to the power of 2, 6, 4. I hope I'm not confused here. Now. Okay. Because like I said, if we use this to cancel this, we'll still come up with this, which is what we have here now. All right. So what do we do now? If you look at this, look at what we have at the base. Is this similar to what we have here? No. So the ideology or before we can evoke the Lambert W function is that what we have at this base must be equal to what we have at the exponent. Now, according to the law of log reading, we can move this power here, this exponent here now. We can move it down to this side like this. Remember? Yes. So let's go ahead and move this to this side and see if we are going to have something similar or something good from here. Okay, so let's continue on this side of the body. This will now give us bracket our 2, 6, 4, minus P, close bracket, times our E to the power. So we have 2, um, 6, 4, minus P into ln of 2. Okay, this down to this. Then everything equal to your 2 to the power of two six four this has not changed anything okay how we learn this one here all right so again we look at the expression what we have here is it same thing we have here no the only difference is that we are having a ln of two here so we don't have a ln of two so what we do here we have to multiply both sides by a ln of two so if we do that so this will now give us here our two six four minus p Okay, let's put this in bracket. ln of 2 dot our e to the power of bracket 2, 6, 4, minus p, close bracket, ln of 2 equal to uh, 2 to the power of 2, 6, 4. Okay, let's put this in bracket, ln of 2. Sorry, I'm trying to cause that space. Okay, now see what we now have in here now. So what we have here now, at the base, same thing we have here. So we cannot evoke the Lambert W function. What does the Lambert W function say? It says that if you have 
Um, if you have a star, okay, I always use the star for my illustration and it's multiplied by e to the power of a star and you decide to take the product log or the Lambert W function, this will give us a star. Provided what you have are the exponent, the same thing you have here. Okay, so from here, we just have to apply this product log to this expression. So apply the product log, so we have lambda W function. Okay, because we have a bracket here, so let's put this into a square bracket. Bracket your 264 minus P, close bracket ln of 2 dot RE to the power bracket 264 minus P, close bracket, okay, the ln of 2. This is equal to the lambda W function. Again, we have our 2 bracket 2 to the power of 264, okay, um, the close bracket ln of 2. Oh, sorry, I just have to manage the space, please. Okay, all right. So, so long this and this are the same, so automatically, this will now give us here our um, 2 uh, c is 4 minus p close bracket, the ln of 2 is equal to, mind you, look at what we have here. So, I have here lambda w function of your 2 to the power of 2 c is 4, okay, ln of 2, right? Is what we have here now, okay? Sorry, this is a square bracket. How do we handle this aspect here? We have to rewrite this power here, okay? So we can write it as 8 plus 2, 5, 6. Okay, so let's keep this side of the expression because here we don't have much problem. This way we have problem. So we want to work on this to enable us apply the lambda W function again. So from here, if we rewrite this, so we're going to have this as our 2 to the power of 8 plus um, 2, 5, 6, okay, the ln of 2. Okay, so let's erase this and continue on this side again. I apply the law of indices here again. We can write this as, like I told you, let's keep the uh, left-hand side. So this is equal to, we're going to have our lambda W function, bracket 2 to the power of 8 times 2 to the power of uh, 2, 5, 6, okay, dot our ln of 2. Okay, something good is happening here. So, now 2 to the power of 8 is 2, 5, 6. Recall, so this will now give us our W bracket, your uh, 2, 5, 6 times 2 to the power of 2, 5, 6, dot ln of 2, close bracket. All right. What if I decide to marry this and this together? So what will this give us? So this will now give us here the lambda W function of 2, 5, 6, okay, ln of 2. But let me put this in bracket so that this goes into a square bracket. There times, and I rewrite this. Remember that our e to the power of ln will give us what? One. So writing this as our e to the power of ln, then to two to the power of two, five, six. Okay? So let's close this very one like this. Because the this this cancel out, this we come down again to give us this back. Okay, so what we do, according to the property of logarithm again, I want to move this down to this place here. So this will now give us here lambda w function of 2, 5, 6, ln of 2 dot our e, okay, here we have 2, 5, 6, ln of 2. Let's close our bracket. Okay, so check what we have here now. You discover that what we have are the base and what we have here are the exponent are now the same. So our lambda w function or the product log can take its effect. So if you take its effect, so this would end up giving us 2, 5, 6, ln of 2. Easy. So let's go ahead and bring back the right-hand side, sorry, the left-hand side of our expression. 
So this now implies that our bracket two six four okay minus p close bracket ln of two is equal to two five c ln of two. Easy. So we have ln of two here, we have ln of two here. So this and this leaves the system. So we end up having 264 minus p is equals to 256. Making p the subject of the formula, take p to this side, bring this to this. So you're also the same thing as your p equal to 264, then minus 256. So p is equal to, um, we have our eight here. So again, we recall when we said, let p be equal to the square root of a, okay? Because what we are looking for is a. So if we recall at the point where we said, let p be equal to the square root of a, so here we said, recall, recall this a please, recall, we said square root of a is equal to p. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and solve for p. From here, okay, let's just use this little space here now. So all we need to do is just to put our eight in place of p. So we have here the square root of a is equal to our uh, eight. Take the square of both sides, take the square of this. So this this leaves. So a is equal to 64. So the value of a that we satisfy our expression here is 64. But here we are going to do a check because in my last video, one of the viewers asked me why I didn't check the result. Okay, I have to check for the authenticity of the result. So yeah, let's just do a little check on this result. So our question is two to the power of your square root of a plus one, then plus two root a plus to five to eight. Now, We've solved our a to be 64 already. So we discovered that the square root of a is equal to 8. So let's just go ahead and put 8 here, the 8 here. So this will now give us 2 to the power of 8 plus 1, the plus 2 into 8, okay, equal to 5 to 8. So we have 2 to the power of 9 plus here will give us um, 16, then equal to 5, uh, sorry, 5, 2, 8. 2 to the power of 9 will give us 5, 12. So we have 5, 12 plus 16 equal to 5, 2, 8. So if we add this together, this will give us 5, 2, 8 equal to 5, 2, 8. Correct. So it shows that the root which we've solved for actually satisfy this exponential equation. If you learn something good from this challenge, the procedure so far, then give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any question with regards to the solving, uh, to the procedure I applied here, drop it in the comment section. If you're not clear with any of the parts, then also drop it in the comment section so that I can uh, do some clarification on it. Remember, this is all I must TV and my name is Jix Animo. Guess what? I love you. Every one of us at all I must TV loves you dearly because we are the reason for the existence of this channel. Bye for now.